but you've been banished from the family effective last month. What? Banished? If only he'd been from a family outside the clan, I could have nearly expelled you. But this man, not only was he Tojo, he reported directly to the main family. But being banished, doesn't that mean I can never come back? Don't worry. I'll be working on that personally. I'll have the whole thing reversed by the time you get out of prison. Thank you, boss. And perhaps banishment will work in our favor. The court will go easier on you now that you're just a civilian. Let them do their worst. I can handle a few years in the camp. Every last moment, don't you? <laughs> While eating a beef bowl? For sure. <laughs> Enough stuff. Come back soon. Find your wallet? Well, if not, you might as well file a theft report inside. We find the defendant Ichiban Kasuga guilty of murder. He is hereby sentenced to 15 years in prison. <laughs> Mr. Box. So you're gonna... <laughs> Sir, I've completed my quota for the day. May I take a bathroom break? Very well. and get back on the outside quick and easy? Idiot, you're a murderer. You could act like a goddamn angel here, but you won't be getting parole for at least ten years. So I'd say it's in your best interest to get along with us. Not much to say, huh? Hey, what family were you in? It's a simple enough question to answer. Right. The Arakawa family. Arakawa? <laughs> you mean that little after school club of a family? Oh man, this is such a letdown. 
Here I was thinking we had a real gangster. <laughs> what did you just say? I said your family's a bunch of small-time punks. Your patriarch may have been Arakawa the assassin once, but that was a long time ago. I heard he's got fucking soft now. You got locked up for that washed up has been, and you think it keeps something. Oh, that's fucking cute. I'll kill you! Try your best, little bitch. Why'd you suddenly fight back? You took it for a whole year. Those guys had to be taken to the police hospitals for crying out loud. You knocked all their teeth out. They were talking shit about my boss. Your patriarch waiting for you on the outside? Yeah. They were calling him a nobody. Saying all this bullshit about him going soft. I couldn't just let that stand. Well, what's he gonna say when he hears the bad news? He won't hear it. That's why he beat their sorry asses. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your sentence getting extended. I don't understand why anybody commits murder in the first place. But if there really is someone out there waiting for you, you should behave yourself. When someone believes in you, try not to disappoint them. Number 1119. Letter for you. Apparently it's from someone important. That's from Harakawa, son. Dear Ichiban. I wanted to avoid writing to you while you're in prison, but today my brush just called to me. If your sentence hadn't been extended, I would be planning your big welcome back party right now. I can't tell you how sad I am that I can't do that. The days have been so lonely without you. Sometimes I think I hear your laughter in the office, but I always turn around and see that nobody's there. Only a parent knows how truly empty a home can feel. Parents are nothing without their children. I'm anxiously waiting for the day when I will turn around and see your laughing face. P.S. The day you get out of prison, let's get that picking duck we missed. I'm so sorry! When I got into that fight, I wasn't even thinking about how long you had already been waiting for me. 
An extra three years I've made you wait just because I did something stupid. I'm sorry I failed you. I held you up for so long, but I'm out now. I'm finally back! Did you not know they've gotten more strict about enforcing the anti-Yakuza laws? It shouldn't surprise you that bosses aren't pulling up in fancy cars at prisons anymore. In the letter, he said he'd come for me. Not gonna happen. Just too dangerous these days. Yeah. Thanks for everything. thought the welcome wagon was coming. Of course, you being in the slammer for 18 years, it's only natural you'd be a bit messed up. Gotta say, that's some deep loyalty you got, waiting for a boss that's never even visited you. Who the hell are you? Kanagawa Police. A detective? I uh, used to be. Now I'm just a washed up DMV grunt, one year shy of time. What's a guy from the slowest apartment ever doing here? Come to remind me to renew my license? Is that a service you offer nowadays? I'm here because I have real business with you. You, murderer, shot a man on the last night of the 20th century. Heck, I even used some precious PTO to be here today. Ah, well, sorry to disappoint you, but I don't plan on being a repeat offender. That's what everyone thinks when they get out. The moment they set foot on the other side of this fence. Shove it up your ass. You don't know shit about me. You were born and raised in Kamarancho, after being abandoned at the famous Shangri-La Soapland. The owner, Jiro Kasuga, took you in. Then he and his prostitutes raised you. Well, after that, it's by the book. You dropped out of school, committed multiple offenses of shoplifting and assaults, then finally joined the Yakuza at age 16. Oh, you had a largely unremarkable career as a member of the Dojo clan's Arakawa family. Until the night you killed an officer higher up on the food chain. Then, January 1st, 2001, you turned yourself in at Kamaro Police Station. Then, you were sentenced to 15 years in this prison. After getting an extra three years tacked on for bad behavior, we finally arrive at today, where you were just released about three and a half minutes ago. That about sum it up. Wow, you're my biggest fan for sure. You want an autograph to show your DMV friends? I just do my homework. Great. Whatever. I don't care why you're here. Just get out of my way. There's somewhere I need to be. Oh, paying a visit to the Arakawa family? It ain't none of your business. Just leave me alone. Oh, but actually, it is my business. It very much is. Nothing personal, of course. Now, you're free to go wherever you feel like, but I'm coming with. What? Are you serious? What? What? Do what you want, man.
do to my hair? I tried. It's just when you asked for a punch, Perm, I had to look it up. The truth is, I've never done one before. Uh, how am I supposed to face the boss with a rat's nest on my head? It's not good to be honest. <laughs> ended up with a bad barber or something. What was your deal anyway? You really gonna just keep following me? <laughs> I told you I have business with you, but I'm waiting patiently for you to take care of yours. So, what's next? You're creeping me out. Man. Give me a break. <laughs> Cheap out Suzumori's grave, huh? Hold on. Isn't he the guy that was killed 18 years ago? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, who killed him? You're looking at him. <laughs> Get real. You think I'm joking? Uh, let me ask you this then. Why'd you kill him? I've been banished from the Arakawa family, and I just... I, I was so mad, I just did it. You killed someone just because you were pissed off. What are you, a schoolboy with daddy's gun? You ain't that immature. If I were you, I wouldn't be visiting these guys. What do you even give a shit, huh? I know that 18 years ago, Susan Mori was shot and killed. But not by you. And yet, you turned yourself in to save your family. I mean, everyone knew you didn't do it. The director of criminal affairs, the judge, jurors. Come on, Kasuga. You served your time. Why are you still lying? Who really killed you? Me. I did it. <laughs> well, you're a real piece of work. Well, you're a big pain in my ass. When are you gonna drop the act? My act? The detective shtick. Why are you following me around? There's no way an old fart one breath away from retirement suddenly decides to babysit next con. Who are you really? What the hell's your angle here, man? My angle. <laughs> well, well. Arakawa son, isn't he? Why are you asking? Who the hell are you? You some kind of reporter? We don't do media, so get out of here. Go on, beat it. You don't understand. I used to be a member of the Arakawa family. If you were from the family, then we would know who you are. I've been in prison for 18 years. I just got out today. If you're gonna lie, you're gonna have to do better than that. Just let me talk to Arakawa-san. You'll be glad to see me, so let me through. Hey! Hold your horses there, dumbass. You don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah, they're busy visiting an important grave today. Go on. Get out of here. I didn't do 18 years for this shit. Step aside. If you don't, they're gonna have two more graves to visit today. Check 
You're getting away with this? Oh, you want some more? Enough! Kasuga! Hey, fellas. We're sorry, okay? Well, my friend here, he's... He's a little crazy, that's all. What the hell you say about me? Look, I'll give him a good talking to. Sorry about all this. We'll get out of here. Go of me, damn it! Don't you get it? That's my boss! Boss! Horikawa-san! It's me! I got out today! It's Ichiban! Ichiban Kasuga! He recognized me. You were gone for 18 years. Isn't it possible he forgot who you were? No way! He didn't forget me! I mean, shit! He sent me a letter in prison! I'm sure he just didn't hear me. He's older, you know? His ears are starting to go and his eyes, too. Well, he definitely heard you. Pretty sure your eyes met, too. No, he didn't! I understand. It's a hard thing to accept, Kasuga. Take a hint. Best case scenario, he simply forgot about you. If he does actually remember you, then clearly he doesn't want to talk to you. That's not true. There's just no way! I know the problem. What now? Think. Why would he be here? Visiting a grave, probably. Exactly. Visiting Susamori's grave. And I bet if he saw me standing right next to it, he'd recognize me on the spot. Yeah, all I gotta do is make sure he sees me right here, and... Hey, look at that. He's, uh, definitely visiting a different grave. Which one? That's... That's the former Omi chairman's grave. The Omi Alliance? The Yakuza who run Kansai? Why would he visit that grave? And with so many guys? It's a logical thing for him to do, since he's an Omi officer. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Listen here, old time. Those guys we just finished fighting said they were Arakawa. Didn't you hear them? Well, the Arakawa family is from the Tojo clan. Tojo clan! Everyone knows they've been at war with the Omi for ages. <laughs> you must have been a pretty shit detective, huh? <laughs> the Arakawa family isn't Tojo anymore. Huh? What did you just say? Masumi Arakawa is currently the acting captain of the Omi Alliance. He's the second in command. What are you talking about? That can't be true. And I knew you wouldn't believe me. But think about it. Arakawa was the patriarch of the 
Third string family of the Tojo clan. Not the greatest position, but the tides changed for him two years ago. You see, the newly elected governor of Tokyo promised to scrub the city of crime. He started with targeted attacks on all Tojo's sources of funding. He called it the Kamracho 3K plan. The hell's that? An anti-Yakuza policy. Keep them hungry, keep them poor, and keep them out. Three Ks. The police started raiding major Yakuza families with surgical precision. Family officers were being arrested one after the other. There was just one exception. The Arakawa family. Huh? That shouldn't come as a surprise. The reason the police were able to destroy the Tojo clan so fast was because they had inside intel. From the Arakawa family. Basically, Masumi Arakawa sold out the Tojo clan to the Cox. No, you wouldn't! <laughs> I'm not even finished with the story yet. With the Tojo clan almost completely wiped off the map, the Omi seized the opportunity and poured their guys into Kamurocho. And you know what the cops did? They looked the other way. Arakawa must have slipped them a little something under the table. Like what? I'm talking about a bribe, dumbass. Arakawa slipped the police some cash so they would ignore the Omi Alliance's expansion. And that's how they took control of Kamurocho without spilling a single drop of blood. To pay back the favor, they welcomed Masumi Arakawa into their organization as the acting captain. Meanwhile, in the eyes of Tojo clan, Arakawa had committed high treason, so what little of the Tojo remains will occasionally attack the Omi, but it's pitiful. I'm sorry to tell you all this, but you had to find out sooner or later. Don't let it get you down. It had nothing to do with you. You okay? Feeling all right? Nothing is fucking all right! Yeah, yeah didn't think so. Our Kawasan's defecting to the Omi? The Tojo clan is gone? You know what? You're a fucking terrible liar! So you don't believe me? No way in hell it went down like that! Our Kawasan was like the walking image of duty and honor! You saw him! He was visiting an Omi grave. Think about that. That wasn't our Kawasan! I haven't seen the guy for 18 years, so how am I supposed to recognize him? <sighs> now that I think about it, that guy wasn't even wearing clothes that our Kawasan would wear! <sighs> you do recall the men you fought identified themselves as Arakawa. I... We must have misheard him! Where are you taking me anyway? This isn't the way to Kamurocho! <sighs> We're going to Yokohama. What? No, I need to get to Kamurocho! I told you, there's nothing for you there. Come with me to Yokohama. As I've said, two of us have business. Enough mystery! What business? An investigation. You are gonna help me with it. Oh, fuck off! Why should I help you with anything, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think you had a choice in the matter? Soon we'll be in Kanagawa Prefecture, my jurisdiction. Now calm down, and let's have some peace and quiet. Hmm? What? Stop the car right now, or else I'll fuck you up! Hey, Kasuga, if you won't come the easy way, I can make up a reason to do it the hard way. You want that? Oh, now the threats are starting, huh? Well, at least they make you seem like a real cop. Oh, is that right? Like any dirty cop, you're coming up with some bullshit story to trick me. So what is it you want? For me to do some of your dirty work? See right through you, fucker. What family in Yokohama are you from? Wow. I showed you my badge, remember? I guess there's no cure for stupid. Ha! <laughs> you think I'm gonna fall for that bullshit? Hey, what do you think you're doing, you idiot? <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Come on, obviously. Were you even listening to me? 
You really need to drop the detective act already. It's obvious you're Yokohama Yakuza. And hey, at least I'll get one hell of a story out of this. How I nearly got kidnapped right out of prison. You are such a dumbass. I have to go find Arakawa son now. He's somewhere in Kamlucha waiting for me. Look, thanks for testing my instincts after I was in the joint for so long. Now see ya. I promise, Kasuga. There's nothing left for you in Kamrocho. Damn it. I thought shit might go sideways. Guess he has to see it for himself. This is it, isn't it? Hey, you supposed to be here? You got any idea what happened to the office that used to be here? Office? This used to be, you know, a girl's bar. What about before that? There was an office here. No, before the bar, it was a computer store. Before that, it was a maid cafe, and before that... A Filipino bar, I think. But 18 years ago, a, a family had their office here. The Arakawa family. Don't you know what I'm talking about? A uh, family. Not a family family. I... A Yakuza office, okay? Anyway, I know it was here. Uh, that's too far back even for my old homes. <laughs> but I'll be honest with you, I don't see how the Arakawa family could have been holed up in a dinky office like this. Oh, so you do know them? I don't think there's a soul on this side of town who does this. They're a huge, famous family. Really? Finally, some good news. So where are they? I'm looking for them. <sighs> Not sure. In this day and age, shockers can't exactly be loud and proud, you know. Especially not hot shots like the Arakawa boys. I get it. Okay, thanks. Think you'll find them? Yeah. Well, I'll just ask the old woman at the SIG stand where they're headquartered. She always knows what's going on. Okay, good luck.
Where's the old woman? Oh, you mean the previous owner? <laughs> she moved back to the countryside a long time ago. Probably taking it easy in an old folks' home by now. Oh, I see. Hey, do you know where the Arakawa family office is? If, if, if you're not making a purchase, I should help the customer behind you. I just want to know where the Arakawa office is. Hey, some of us got places to be. In the usual. Yes, here you are. 500 yen, please. Just put it on my tab. Wow. People sure have gotten rude since I was gone. How pathetic. You say something? Where'd you learn them manners, huh? Mom raised you in a barn? Jeez. And you're walking around town wearing a dojo badge? Oh, wait. It's only Alliance. So, you're in the know. Where fam made from? Me? I'm Arakawa. Oh, uh, nice to meet you, brother. Sorry I didn't know you. I'm new. Like hell you are! You're lying out here with the only symbols faking like you're Arakawa! You and that crew that visited the old chairman's grave today? Hmm? Oh, yeah, there was a big ceremony scheduled. But only the Patriarch and his officers got stuff like that. Maybe some of their assistants, too, but that's it. Damn, he must be newer than me. Tell me one thing. Who's our Patriarch right now? Dude. You living under a rock? Just, just tell me who it is. It's acting captain of the Omi Alliance, Masumi Arakawa, obviously. Man, you forgot the name of your patriarch? Get your shit together. Hey, you don't order me to do anything. I'm not Omi. Oh, but you just said you were in the Arakawa family. Damn right. And that family is part of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? You sleep talking, dude? Do I look fucking asleep? No, you don't. You must be one of those Tojo pests still crawling around. We've got permission from HQ to exterminate them on sight. You only are the ones who invaded. This city is Tojo turf. Not anymore. I do Tojo roaches need to die already. Let's do it. Really betray the Tojo clan and run to the Yomi? Answer me! Yes! Honeycomb! That guy's a Tojo loyalist! Get him! What? Get back here!
うね Excuse me. Sup? Sup? Come on! 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 Come on!
Tell you love your job, but you ought to love being alive more. Else, who's gonna take care of that precious camera? A real fist fight between the Omi Alliance and a Tojo clan loyalist. Oh, yeah, these picks are going for a fortune. Thanks, Ichiban. Hey, hold up. words for a guy who just took off screaming. Yeah, you better run, Kamelop! Kamelop? It's a local mascot they made to improve Kamarocho's image. What the hell is a local mascot? Uh, we're gonna be here all day. Remember the internet? It's big now. Use it. Fine. Just tell me what happened to the Arakawa family. And arakawa -san. In that family once upon a time, right? Stop! You gotta know what happened, being the local reporter. I don't believe that our Kawasan was a traitor. It wasn't who he was! You really want to know why Arakawa did what he did? Because I do have this news. Not a journalist for nothing. So tell me! When did you get locked up again? 18 years ago. And Arakawa had a son, right? Yeah, a young master. It used to be my job to escort him. I don't know the details, but he was kind of sickly, right? Uh-huh. Uh, what do you mean, was? Is he better now? He's dead. What? what? When? How? Huh. Would have been about three years after you went into the slammer. As I recall, his condition got worse. There was nothing they could do. Arakawa was pretty fond of him, or so I assume. It was more than being fond of him. Arakawa-san would have died for his son. Maybe the loss changed his perspective on things. Nothing worse than burying your own kid. Yeah. I can't imagine how that must have felt. What? I still don't see how that would make him betray the Tojo clan. Take it too long, man. Maybe you saw him here. Couple that with the fact that Arakawa is a Yakuza. I think maybe his new reason to live became watching the world burn. He wouldn't. Hey, why don't you give me some info now? You really in trouble with the Omi like those thugs said? Yeah. And you shouldn't just be strolling around Kamala Chocho. You still got business here? If not, I'd get out of town. I promise, Kasuga, there's nothing left for you in Kamrocho. But then where would I go? I mean, I don't know, dude. I'm just saying the Omi are looking for you. So I'd get out of town if I were you. Don't go home. Home? Yeah, the soap land you were born in? That'd be your home, right? Shangri La. Hey, you're not going there now, are you? Don't do it. I'm telling you, they'll kill you. Kill you? <laughs> Let him try.
Pretty good. So good. So, is this the last stop on your tour of Kamarocho? Well, I knew you'd end up here eventually. You again? For real? Unbelievable, isn't it? A neon bright paradise like Kamarocho, here's this dark, rotting husk. What happened here? Do you know? There was a Tojo clan civil war. Some moron drove a dump truck through the place. Well, no one's come near it ever since. Now, it's a den for lowlifes and thugs. Real messed up dudes living there now. I see. I guess I never realized just, just how long 18 years really is. It's not the Kamarocho you remember. I know that must be shit. Did you see what they built on Nakamichi Street? What? The new Kamuro police station. Just, just one more set of prying eyes watching everything this time. It's because of the 3K clan. Without the Tojo clan throwing their bribes and threats around, the station finally got built. That's why everybody loves a go-getter of a governor. The Kamuro police station is just one of his legacies. <laughs> well, that shit doesn't matter to me anymore. Cousins. I've been nothing but honest with you. I tried to tell you before. The Tojo clan you know is gone. Is gone. The Omi alliance from Kansai invaded. They won. They rule this city now. So, do you believe me now? Yes. Then we're making good time. You came around faster than I thought. I knew you were the kind of guy who has to see shit for himself. Everyone else was dead. So, I had to let you walk around Kamarocho until it all clicked for you. <laughs> you got there quick. What are you doing? Trying to guess everything I do? Making fun of me along the way? Well, I didn't guess everything. I just knew you'd come here. <sighs> Look, man. Once and for all, what the hell do you really want? I want you to help me with my investigation. Huh? Arakawa, their former boss, used the police to crush the Kojo clan. Then he gave Kamurocho to the Omi Alliance on a silver platter. You and I both know you can't buy out the police with just Yakuza pocket change. So my theory is some of that money went directly to Juro Horonoruchi, the police commissioner. The police commissioner? Yeah. And I got a bone to pick with that guy. I'd love to see the son of a bitch fired. Of course, I'm just a driver's ed teacher now, so I don't have a lot of chances to get at it. But one chance I do have is if I go through Masumi Arakawa. And you figure I can help you get to Arakawa, son. Is that it? Congrats. You solved the puzzle. I thought you'd be game because, come on, aren't you dying to know why he turned traitor? If you don't agree, why don't you tell me? What are you gonna do now? Hmm? I want to see Arakawa son. It's all I thought about in prison. I just want to see him, talk to him. Well, your information. Tonight, Arakawa is bringing some Omi officers to a big meeting with local patriarchs. Really? Not true? Oh, yeah. And we're not talking about a sweet little tea party. It's gonna be a show of arms. Arakawa, it's a critical moment. He needs to show his dominance. Taking too long, man.
check out that restaurant over there. Hey on Tower. Oh, that's oh, been no, no, wait, 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 Taking too long, man. Thank you. 